opportunity uh, for India can be gauged by the fact that uh, the difference uh, between a 2 percent of the global economy being represented by Indian GDP and 16 percent of the global population being represented by Indian uh, economy. Uh, this difference obviously is quite sizable and in my opinion it is not warranted. Uh, the knowledge economy has changed the entire uh, economic uh, value creation model. Um, people can generate value from where they are sitting and in most instances they can create value independent of uh, location from which they operate. Uh, Indian IT industry and uh, the service sector in general has demonstrated the value that it can add not only to our Indian economy uh, here domestically, but also what it can do to influence matters uh, globally. So I think the challenge is more around our uh, uh, ability to leverage the assets that we have, the confidence that we are able to demonstrate the ability to discern uh, things uh, that are of importance globally and raise up to the occasion is in a way uh, going to define opportunities for India. Uh, therefore, the current economic slowdown is to be gauged as an opportunity uh, so that you know we can best better respond to the situation and, uh, and demonstrate that not only will India benefit from its innovative approaches, but also the world can also benefit uh, from uh, many things that it could undertake. Indian companies uh, uh, not only can contribute a great deal, but in my opinion it is their responsibility uh, to do so. I believe that we are at the verge of uh, a new model of public-private partnership uh, developing in the social sector. We are all used to the fact that public-private partnerships in the infrastructure sector have been very successful. Uh, but if only we can bring the need to make uh, a, a big difference at the levels of the downtrodden uh, by involving the government and using its resources. And at the same time, if we can bring the experience the knowledge base and technology base and the good uh, uh, business practices of the corporates together, uh, then uh, in my opinion you know, it holds uh, some magical uh, opportunities and, and solutions uh, that uh, can be brought to the fore. Um, this is uh, uh, quite, uh, uh, quite vital uh, because here is a rare opportunity to demystify things. Uh, here is a great opportunity to have the innovation of various kinds commoditized for the sake of the most needy. And that can only happen when this new public-private partnership model of the corporates and the government and various other uh, NGOs uh, coming together happens. Most of uh, the sectors have the potential uh, to enhance their contributions as compared to the current levels uh, in, in, in growing the economy. I think it uh, runs across the board. Uh, India has particularly demonstrated its ability in the services sector. Uh, the industry has grown from something like 100 million dollars in the beginning of uh, 1991 or so. Uh, to any time now a hundred billion dollar industry. Um, manufacturing also has shown that resilience, you know, it has given tough uh, fight and competed well against countries like China in the last five, six years. Um, I think the challenge is more around uh, developing leadership, using available resources well, uh, having uh, innovation play its role. Uh, that is more vital uh, than only limited number of sectors you know, helping us uh, uh, with the growth. 
they, therefore, in particularly uh, today's time, when the economic challenges are more pronounced, uh, we have to make sure that we are extracting the best out of the available assets. And India's particular strength has been in the soft infrastructure area. And, and that uh, it should uh, continue to take full advantage of and, and at the same time pull together uh, various other uh, ways of uh, being able to contribute value not only within the country but outside the country as well.